In New South Wales, the Liberal Party has won by-elections in the Sydney seats of Epping and Hornsby, while a Teal independent has wrestled control in Pittwater. Alexander Lewis has the details. Well, the Scrooby camp has been partying into the night here at Avalon Surf Club, and there's a real sense of optimism. Jackie Scrooby has stopped short of declaring victory, but with more than 60% of the votes counted, she's clearly ahead and the celebrations have begun. She's being cautiously optimistic with her language. After all, she narrowly lost last year to the Liberals by just 606 votes. But if the count continues the way it has, it's likely she'll become the first Teal Independent in the New South Wales Parliament. There's definitely the trailblazing element, there's definitely the element that maybe the New South Wales Liberal Party and, and other states Liberal, you know, they're not on, on their game and whether that be scandals or administrative errors, people have felt disappointed in Liberal representation. I think also it's important to recognise that, you know, this by-election is different, we have a minority government, um, we do have Liberals in opposition and I suppose people also feel that as an opportunity to try a different type of representation, um, so I'm conscious that there are a lot of elements there. If Ms Scrooby is elected to state parliament, the Teal movement will have strengthened its grip on this part of the world. Pittwater covers roughly the same area as the federal seat of McKellar, which was won by Sophie Sconce at the last federal election. Ms Scrooby worked as Ms Sconce's campaign manager before running for parliament last year. People here tonight have told me that there's been a community awakening in this part of the world of people wanting to do politics differently outside the major parties. And I am just so thankful that this community has got involved in their democracy. It's an exciting time for us here uh, in Pittwater and people of Pittwater have said they want to be heard, they want to be part of their democracy. They've got behind Jackie. Jackie is an incredible representative. Ms Scrooby's opponent, Georgia Ryburn, is yet to formally concede, but the Liberals admit the path to victory is difficult. They've also faced by-elections today in Epping and Hornsby, the former seats of former Premier Dominic Perrottet and former Treasurer Matt Keane. In Epping, Mr Perrottet's former Deputy Chief of Staff, Monica Tudhope, who's also the daughter of Shadow Treasurer Damien Tudhope, is on track to retain the seat for the Liberals, as is former Liberal State President James Wallace in Hornsby. Labor has chosen not to field candidates in any of today's by-elections. But here in Pittwater, it looks as though blue is likely to turn to teal, and the crowd here is ecstatic.